What's up everybody and welcome to my Monday Night Raw review And there's a lot of things to get through this show tonight So let's kick it off with John Cena as the US Open Challenge started He came out and pretty much called out anybody So who was going to be the, ch the, uh, op the challenger? I'm kind of glad this Open Challenge is back now because it was interesting and Xavier Woods came out playing John Cena's tune on the trombone Talking about the New Day Pretty much says that they were going to beat the Dudleys at you know, Madison Square Garden at the Slive Special this Saturday for the Tag Team Championships, and that Kofi also spoke about that we will hold, we could hold the U.S. the U.S. title and the tag titles at the same damn time because we get the tag team champions at the same damn time. So I guess now New Day is now stealing future lyrics now. So they want to steal from Future, um, pretty much. King said, we got to be Team Scroogeman Duck because we're going to be swimming in gold. He said, that's a DuckTales reference, everybody. And Cena says, that's a fine speech and everything, but Prima says, if any of uh, signing gets serious, he said, if you're not serious, he can beat all their asses right now. So Xavier Woods was the man to come in there. And since uh, Xavier Woods wants to steal moves from Gail Kim now, it looks like I've seen with the, um, I believe he did the Eat the Feet move. So, I don't, I don't know why, I, mean, I think Gail Kim may get pissed at that for stealing moves now. He did the eat the feet on John Cena, and pretty much it ended in a DQ finish since John Cena did STF. The New Day attacked them, and then Team 3D came out for the save. Pretty much now making this into a six-man tag. And since this was Cena and um, the Dudley's going against the New Day, Pretty much the match is alright, but the New Day got the win. Kofi at the Shovel in Paradise on Devon got the pin. Xavier Woods is holding Bully Ray back. I don't know how but he's bigger than him, anyways, but yeah, and since the New Day beating them again, some say that since all the loot, the matches they lost, um, Team 3D will win the Tag Team Championships this Saturday at the live special, which probably will happen when they win the Tag Team Championships again. Stephanie McMahon talked to somebody from, um, Human resources, and this was the big joke tonight. Since Stephanie McMahon doesn't know what human resources is and thinks everybody in the crowd is some morons and stuff, she began the joke tonight trying to see tell people how human resources works from HR. So that was the big joke of the night. And Seth Rollins was protesting this is an outrage and stuff. And Kane remembers when the happy says, uh, Yeah, I, I, you know, it's a lot of pressure and everything, but you know what? I'm going to take this uh, test. He said, Ashley, have you met the uh, belt was yet? Dean Ambrose was talking to Roman Reigns in the back about the main event since it was Reigns versus Bray Wyatt. Orton said he would have his back. He wanted both guys to stay in the back, though. He says, once you've done with him, I'm, it's open season, Orton says. Big Show killed Mark Henry. My God, they have killed Mark Henry at this point now. His enhancement talent. Hell, he's jobber material at this point. Um, show pretty much was jawing on and on and everything, and he won the match, so... I don't know, but this Big Show versus Lesnar is going to be a big thing tonight. You're going to be seeing a lot of Big Show tonight. Since they were playing promo videos from 2002, and even though they kind of almost forgot that, we have to remember that Big Show beat the Big Show got the living crap beaten out of him last year at the Royal Rumble with a, like damn near 20 something chair shots by Brock Lesnar. So maybe it'll be a good match this year, and Big Show won't get jobbed to death at the Royal Rumble and get one move in. Miz TV, who gives a crap, Becky Lynch and Charlotte were out there since Becky Lynch was out there and pretty much threw the mic at Mrs. Mike, so I say he's a sexist pig and everything. You know, like the last time we were, you were, we were on this show. And Nikki Bella pretty much came as all this high school drama says with pay, friends like Paige who needs um like, who, who needs friends and stuff? As Paige came out, says, I put these women on the map. I was the first NXT Women's Champion and NXT Women's Champion and stuff. And that Becky and Charlotte wouldn't be on TV is not for them. If it weren't for them. And pretty much, um, Paige wants that with boyfriends like yours, pretty much aim at the Bellas. Who needs ambition? Which was some of the big line of the night and away from Paige. But this turned into another six person tag. Since they all brought with each other, it was PCB versus the Bellas. I know Teddy Long's loving this right now. Because there'll be a tag team match. Six man this time. So PCB went against the Bellas. And I guess now. And everything, um. Pretty much, it was a tag match with these both teams. 
pretty much uh, Charles about to hit the figure eight, not page out or any page left. Um, Natalia comes out, really just gets to the apron, and Paige pulls her back down and starts arguing Becky Lynch. And then Nikki Bella gets the roll-up pin on Charlotte, which now Charlotte, for a person that's champion, she is now taking a back seat to Paige, and she's now the focal point of this whole thing. And now she got pinned by Nikki Bella. The Divas Revolution, still a joke, who gives a crap, nobody cares. Um, they showed more Brock Lesnar in, um, Big Show... Clips. Seth Rollins talked to Human Resources as in HR, which is Human Resources, but that's I told you it's the big joke of the night. It's human Resources talked about Kane and Kane to her, and Kane and came back with a gift, and it was Seth Rollins' head from the trophy, and pretty much says um it's a severed head, and um pretty much Seth Rollins just looked weirded out by it since Sting threw his trophy in the trash disposal. Um Kane went back to dig it up. Uh, primetime players got jobbed out to Harper and Strowman, which was nothing really that special that we knew they were going to kill the primetime players, so and the match was just like whatever. Stardust went against Neville. DQ, another DQ finish, but this time it's the return of King or Wade Barrett, which he got no reaction when he came out. And said, oh, hell, the king. I'm surprised he should do it as King Bear. I didn't even know Wade Bear was gone. All I remember was Stardust beating the crap out of him. And then he just disappeared for, like, what, two or three weeks? So, I didn't even know he was still there. But, who cares? Yes, the bull hammer move does look cool at points in time. But, him coming out saying, oh, the king's King Bear. I'm surprised this guy is still on this roster. And we knew he was not going to go face anything. Uh, and then, pretty much after that, Kane and Ashley were back in the ring. Hold on. Kane and Ashley were in the ring pretty much talking about his evaluation and stuff and as they pretty much came out Seth Rollins showed a video of Kane destroying people throughout the years and and everything and he said Kane tried to drag me to hell but I talked with the Pope was in town last week and he says I I'm going to heaven because I'm the champion not like none of these people here I am the champion so Seth Rollins and his crazy boring promos killing time as usual as Kane said um, he had a video package for him and it was Seth Rollins bad mouth and Kane throughout the months while Rollins was champion and everything and pretty much Ashley said we did thorough investigation and Kane is capable to fulfill his duties but Seth Rollins is one of the most unprofessional employees she's ever met in WWE Rollins was pissed he came out saw the honor and Kane he dropped his belt pedigree Kane beat the living crap out of him with a chair and then for some reason we finally got the curb stomp back for one time only and he stomped Kane's leg with the chair inside of it and then after that Pretty much EMTs rushed Kane to the back. And then, for some reason, well, Seth Rollins was still cutting a promo saying, Oh, did you get a boo-boo, Kane? And pretty much the, the ambulance stopped. Smoke fills out. In about a minute or maybe 45 seconds, Kane comes out in his regular gear. Stomps on his foot, snaps his ankle back to normal. Comes out there. No soul to chair shot from Seth Rollins. And then choke slam. Beat the hell out of Seth Rollins and choke slam him. Was going to go for a tombstone, but Seth Rollins was running to the back. And Kane picked up the title, so we know Kane's going for the championship. My God, this segment went so long, but it, I don't know. Demon Kane, Happy Kane, Joseph Parks, Abyss, whatever the hell he wants to be, since they want to steal this idea from TNA. Um, it doesn't make sense. But I, nine times out of ten, at, at whatever pay-per-view, which will probably be at the... Um, I don't know, a Hell in a Cell thing, um, this will go on for a while, or oh, for the belt, so, I don't know how they're booking Seth Rollins nowadays, Buffalo Bills were out there, uh, Bo Dallas made fun of them, and pretty much says, all you gotta do is Bo leave, you can get a Super Bowl championship, Orton came out there, destroyed Bo Dallas, RKO'd the hell out of him, nothing much, Kevin Owens when against Rusev, which, uh, once again, I don't know why it was Rusev, Face, but Ryback was on commentary in about 45 seconds. Pretty much Owens threw, Ry threw Rusev into Ryback and he started jumping Ryback, threw him in the ring. Ziggler hits the save and 
pretty much both out. And and Rusev is a big idiot because Rusev has been left behind by Kevin Owens like two times now. And if they tag again on SmackDown, the same outcome's gonna come out. So Rusev is a, a moron pretty much to even trust Kevin Owens after he's betrayed him like two or three times now. But it'll happen again because Rusev's that fucking dumb. And it'll happen again. So why? I check my food. Continuing on, as I said, Rusev is an idiot. He's just an idiot. Paul Heyman finally looked like he was going to came out and save the show. Talking about the Go to Hell Tour. It's October. Big show will lose. He's just a mad magician with a C-plus grade average. And Freeman Heyman says that he's not knocking talent, but Big Show, no one can surely push him to the, his, listener, his limit and everything. And Heyman said that Saturday night, Brock Lesnar will be taking Big Show to Sue Plex City and he go to Hell Tour. Uh, and then Big Show came out, pretty much went to Paul, got in his face on that. Lesnar, I took him Lesnar every time to the limit, we got in the ring. I took him to the limit. I'm going to take out Brock Lesnar. You're, you're an advocate, huh? Well, we'll advocate this pretty much because um, he has a Lesnar so, uh, upset. If he's gonna, it's going to be hard to face Big Show. And that Lesnar's afraid of Big Show. And, and he just looked up and said, Pauly, Pauly, where are you going? And tried to book the WWE Network and... Pretty much, he's gonna destroy Lesnar MSG, and he pretty much Paul looked like he was walking away, just pissed and everything, like he was gonna just do something. But he walked out of the ring, and Big Show says, "What are you gonna do when there's no future of Brock Lesnar?" So the crowd didn't care. I swear, I've seen Big Show like three times tonight on here. So the big vocal point of this show is Big Show and Kane murdering damn everybody on this show. So I don't know what's gonna look like with Big Show versus Brock Lesnar, which I believe is the main event this Saturday for the whole MSG thing. So, I don't even know what to say about that. Roman Reigns went against Bray Wyatt. Wyatt brought out um, Strowman and Harper, but pretty much um, Reigns said, This is me and you one on one. Bring those, take your swamp boys back to the back. Unless you're a bitch, pretty much. And pretty much Reigns and Bray Wyatt pretty much went against each other, which the match was very uneventful, so it wasn't much to say. Even the crowd looked like they were about to turn on it at one point. And then the only time, they, and it was a double count out then. So they, it was a double count out, and pretty much both, the last five minutes of the show was good because they brawled outside the ring, and then we have, you know how Bray Wyatt does that jumping move, move the knock with his body. He pretty much came in, knocked Reigns down over the over the timekeeper's area. He stood on top of the announce table and Reigns speared him to it, which fans were starting to do yes chants and trying to say this is awesome and holy shit. I, it, I don't know. The, the last five minutes was, was really good. The brawl. So that, that was pretty much it. The double count out was like whatever. But this whole show hasn't really been that good tonight to be honest. I find it funny right after Monday Night Raw the movie Friday came on. So we went to the bed on Monday Night Raw for the movie Friday right after. I thought that was pretty hilarious. But I, I don't know. This show tonight was like... Was it really that good? Was it really that worth it? It's just like, why was it there? Why? If it's not even DQs, it's big, people can blame Big Show. People blame Kane. People blame me, blaming bad women's matches. Who gave a crap if Wade Barrett came back or not? He barely got a reaction. But I don't know. This episode of Raw is like, whatever. I can see, I, I kept seeing people on Twitter promote Bound for Glory this Sunday. So maybe hopefully that's a better show than tonight. This one, they just, I don't know who's writing this shit in the back tonight, but this show was just, like, horrible, man. This was, like, bad, bad, so, fuck them, pretty much. But I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Um, live reactions, reviews. Well, I do live reactions this weekend, so there's going to be two big shows of the MSG special and Bound for Glory. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace.